On this week's scouting report, we discuss how the Seattle Sounders can dominate possession against the Vancouver Whitecaps. What's up everyone, Steve Zakwani here. Welcome to the Quest Diagnostic Scouting Report. Good health starts with knowing. It's here, it's the playoffs, it's the thing the Sounders and every other MLS team work so hard during pre-season training camp, all the way through the regular season, is to have a chance to play at this stage of the season and for the Sounders, a chance to repeat. The matchup is set. The Seattle Sounders will play against the Vancouver Whitecaps and it is a favourable matchup for the Seattle Sounders. Why? In all three games this year, the Sounders were the better team. Didn't always get the result their play deserved, but in the last meeting, they absolutely did that. So how have the Sounders been able to overwhelm and dominate the Vancouver Whitecaps in each of the three games? It's very simple. The Sounders model this year has been built on possession. Against some teams, that works well. Against other teams, it doesn't work so well. Against the Whitecaps, it works perfectly. And it's not possession for possession's sake. It's what we call possession with a purpose. It means getting the likes of Nico Lodero, Clint Dempsey when he'll be back for the second leg, getting Victor Rodriguez when he played in the previous meetings. Your guys who are good on the ball. So in this instance on Sunday, we're talking Christian Rodan, Nico Lodero, getting them lots of touches in the attacking half. The Whitecaps like to sit back, even at home. They'll allow you to have possession and try to hit you on the counter-attack. That possession has to be good. You need your outside backs, Jovin Jones and Kelvin Leder, who do a great job of this, and whether it's Nuhu, of getting forward, giving you numbers in the attack. You can camp in Vancouver's half, keep possession, but then it's about making it count. And the Sounders did that in their second meeting up in Vancouver, when Victor Rodriguez won a penalty, which Nico Ladero scored from, by just getting into the box in behind the Vancouver outside backs, keeping good position high up the field it really puts Vancouver under pressure and they've not been able to max Seattle so far on the opposite end of course you're watching Freddie Montero we know what he does by now he will just look disinterested for 89 minutes but that one minute your eyes are off him he'll pop up and score a goal if the Sounders can be alert with Freddie in the backside and keep good possession with a purpose in the White Cups half getting their key playmakers on the ball lots of one-twos give and go movement outside backs forward they should get a positive result this game that will set them up for the second leg next week at Central Link Field. And don't forget, you can catch all the action live on ESPN at 5.30 p.m. this Sunday or listen to a radio stream on soundersfc.com.